This video was sponsored by Wondershare, the company that makes Recoverit, a free data recovery software. Check out the links in the video description down below. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Pocophone F1, the device that costs just about 300 bucks, but it has a ton of premium features. I will go through the pros and cons and I will let you know if the phone is worth the price after using it for 2 months and after receiving plenty of software updates, including the latest MIUI 10. Although this is not a fresh review, let's do a quick unboxing. Inside the packaging you get all the usual stuff and some extras include a soft TPU case that I never used. Let's start talking about the design by addressing a few widely discussed topics, plastic build and the display. The backplate of the Pocophone F1 is made out of plastic, however this is not a cheap plastic and it is really nice to the touch, it's harder to scratch than glass and it sparse a nice soft matte finish, so you won't be dealing with a fingerprint smudge fest all the time. Don't get me wrong, I'm not an advocate of plastic but I can assure you that the Pocophone F1 does not feel cheap and it has held up well over the time. Other design elements include a metal rail, nice buttons and the display with a notch. That display is great in my opinion. Well, it's not the best panel I've seen as the colors could look more vibrant but in general this is a very good panel for a $300 phone. The screen is sharp, outdoor visibility is decent and I'm yet to see any scratches on it after using the phone for 2 months. Other key features include a dual camera system on the back that I'll talk about in detail very soon. Also we have a 20 megapixel selfie shooter, LED notification light, a hybrid dual SIM card tray, a headphone jack that provides good audio quality and the USB Type-C part. I found the fingerprint scanner to be excellent as it is super fast and accurate. Also the facial recognition is probably the fastest and the most reliable in a $300 phone. Honestly, you don't even need to use the fingerprint scanner anymore as facial recognition works really well in any light. Also, the phone has the dual speaker system that is pretty good overall for a $300 phone. Here are a few audio samples. Just before we start talking about hardware and software, I wanted to show you guys a free data recovery software that is called Recoverit and say thanks for sponsoring this video. Recoverit is free data recovery software to recover deleted, formatted or lost data from PC, laptop or any removable device quickly and easily. For example, it is really frustrating to lose files that were stored on the USB flash drive and the Recoverit is a solution to recover those files. It is an effective and 100% safe recovery program to help you recover files from the USB drive that were lost due to deleting, formatting, virus infection and so on. Recovering your lost data is very easy. All you have to do is download and install Recoverit Flash Drive Recovery software on your computer. Then you need to connect the USB flash drive you want to recover, click next and start scanning. You can select quick scan first and if you didn't find the files you lost, you can choose all around option which is a deeper scan. When the scan is complete, you can preview and recover files from the USB drive. I have tested this app on a few different USB flash drives and SD cards. The Recoverit app found the files that were deleted a long time ago and it even managed to recover video files that were lost due to corrupted SD card. The basic features are available in the free version of the app, but if you want to unleash the full potential of this application and go pro, prices start at $79.95. All in all, I've tested this app myself and I can assure you it works very well. If you want to try this app yourself, make sure to check out the video description down below where you'll find all the links and show notes.
Hardware configuration or the sheer specs may be the main reason why people are interested in the Pocophone F1. The device ships with the latest flagship grade Snapdragon chipset, plenty of RAM, and lots of expandable internal storage. Those killer specifications translate into excellent or flagship grade gaming performance. No matter what kind of games you're going to play on the Pocophone, the device will handle them without any issues. There is no lag, no stutter, the graphics look great, and the phone remains cold to the touch even after 30 minutes of gaming thanks to great cooling system. Even the PUBG runs absolutely fine on the very highest graphics and it's a joy to play this game on the Pocophone F1. Excellent overall performance. The Pocophone F1 has just received the MIUI 10 update and this user interface is based on Android 8.1. My experience after 2 months, the phone is fast and smooth all the time, again thanks to flagship grade hardware. As far as the UI itself, I really like the new clean look, especially the app drawer that automatically sorts out your apps. I also like smooth animations and, of course, all the extra features and customization options the MIUI is famous for. I got used to a swipe navigation system very quickly and it's really convenient for one-hand usability. Overall, I really like the UI and the phone has been fast all the time. Just before we start talking about the image quality, check out my Facebook page where I uploaded high resolution camera samples. Also, follow me for the latest updates. The daylight image quality is very good. Of course, you can be picky and say that some of the shots are overexposed, etc., but more often than not, you'll be able to take really nice looking pictures. Night image quality is not the best as there is quite a bit of noise and grain in the pictures, but hey, this is a $300 phone after all. Portrait shots look really good. Well, you can start nitpicking and find a few artifacts around the subject, but in general, the images will look really nice on social media. Selfies also look nice and sharp, there is plenty of detail and the beauty mode works fine for me. Selfie portrait shots look really nice too as there are just minimal artifacts around the subject but that's just nitpicking. 4K video has quite a lot of detail and sharpness but it's ruined by the lack of image stabilization. Also there are some video artifacts. On the other hand, 1080p video is very smooth and stable. In general, you will be able to record beautiful looking footage and the only complaint would be that there is quite a bit of noise in the video. Ten eighty p selfie video looks really nice and sharp and sound recording quality is decent. You may hear quite a bit of outside noise because I'm standing right next to the street. The phone can also shoot slow motion video, but the quality is quite average. Check out the Techline HD Extras YouTube channel where I upload uncut video samples and be the judge. The Pocophone F1 has been excellent in the connectivity department over the last couple of months. Call quality has been great, I had no issues with signal reception and GPS has always been very accurate. The phone also has quite a few sensors including a gyroscope, however there is no NFC. The battery life has been superb, especially with the latest MIUI 10 software update. My record screen on time was about 14 hours, which is a very impressive result. If you tend to use the phone more intensively, you should expect to get about 10 hours of SOT. Also, it takes just over one and a half hours to fully charge the phone with a supply charger thanks to Quick Charge 3.0 technology. The Pocophone F1 is an amazing smartphone for the price of about 300 bucks and I assert that after using the device for more than two months. Well, if you want me to be very picky, I can say that the 4K video looks quite shaky, low light camera performance could be slightly better, there is no NFC and I wish the phone was made of a single block of aluminum. So these are the shortcomings but I don't think it's even worth complaining about them considering the price. 
For about 300 bucks, you get a nice looking and well built device that looks as new after two months. Also, the display is good and the phone performs like a true flagship thanks to bleeding edge specifications. If you add great cameras, very good battery life, feature-packed MIUI, dual speakers, a headphone jack, fast charging, you are looking at the best smartphone currently available for the price. Honestly, the Pocophone F1 is easily one of the best sub-$300 phones ever. Yes, I said that. Ever. I can highly recommend the Pocophone F1 to anyone and you'll be simply blown away by the overall package. As always, you'll find a product link down below the video in case you're interested in picking one up. What do you think about the Pocophone F1? Would you buy this phone or would you choose another option for $300 US? As always, use the comment section down below, ask me any questions, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always, it was Lionus, thank you for watching and see you soon.